Imagine how Gail must be feeling. It's every mother's worst nightmare. David, as you mean, makes you two look like a couple of angels. That's because we are. Oh, you are joking, aren't you? Have you seen all these grey hairs up here? <laughs> Every one of them tells a story. Yeah, Sophie's not even a teenager yet. Tomorrow's when the trouble really starts. Oh, don't see what your problem is. I'm 13, so what? Yeah, I'm lucky for some and we know who. Oh, you weren't that bad. <laughs> oh, is that right? You swung on to every word we said and then bang. You turn 13, you're embarrassed to be seeing out with us now. Oh, don't worry, Dad. We reached that stage a long time ago. Oh, yeah? Are you sure you want to go bowling with us tomorrow? Mm, I suppose. Can't we do something better than going bowling? There's a play on in town. An inspector calls. Tell him I'm not in. John reckons it's a really good production. Yeah, well, it's not up to John, thankfully. And if Sophie wants to go bowling on her birthday, that's what we'll do. That pink one there, like that one, makes matching. Huh? Yeah. Any other ways you want to humiliate me? Order a bouncy castle or a clown? <laughs> Thirteen, isn't she? Oh, hi, Gail. Hi. Yep, another one bites the dust. Oh, you grew up too early at that age. I still like magic tricks and rabbit shaped blancmange. Well, at 13, Sarah was pregnant, so count yourself lucky. True. There you go. Oh, thank you. <laughs> sure. Who else is coming bowling then? Oh, just Chesney. Ah. Oh, thank you, Rosie. Oh, it's all right. Did you say that we'd um, run out of coffee? Yeah. Oh, I'll come and go and get some. Oh, thank you, sir. I don't know. All that time she was in present. She's more excited over a bit of cash. Oh, so do I in money? Yeah, it's not the same, though, is it just having some money? I need a few presents to open. I'm not a kid. Well, I'm not. No, you're I... not. More's the pity. It's enough to make you feel broody again, isn't it? No way. <laughs> Inside out, poor thing. No, Mum, that's the fashion. What? Wearing your clothes inside out? No. Looking like you are. Hello, Jess. Yeah. Got some sweets for the car, Jess. Oh, great. Yeah, and we're going to treat you to a pizza when we get there. Oh, thanks, Mrs. Webster. Have a good time. Are you sure you're all right? Oh, yeah, I'm fine, Mum. I've just got a bit of stomachache. Come on, Sal. All right, well, get into bed. And make yourself a hot water bottle, that's what I used to do. Yeah, okay. Bye. Daddy. Oh, ha, 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 get in there. <laughs> hi, love. Oh, hi, John. Hiya. Hiya, Chess. Hiya. Come on, Chess. Well, it's talk about timing. I just came to see you. Really? Yeah, I wonder if you fancy the lesson tomorrow. Yeah, that would be great. About half twelve. Okay. Great. Are you sure it's not putting you to any trouble? No, of course it's not trouble. I enjoy our lessons just as much as you do. Well, the reason I was watching a film at six o'clock this morning... What film was it? It was The Tempest. John lent it to me. We were supposed to be discussing it on our last night today. Mm, watching a film and talking about it. All right for some, eh? Well, as someone who recently did a comparative study of work versus school, I would say school is an absolute dos compared to doing a real job. No, is that why you're going back to school? Oh, yeah. I start next week, by the way. This is after, what was it, ten weeks answering the phone? Mum? I did way more than that. Why are you picking on me? I'm doing what you want, aren't I? Can I just say, as someone who is attempting to juggle 40 plus hours a week over the road with cooking, washing, cleaning and ironing for you lot, I find it now impossible to study and that is why I started at 6 o'clock in the morning. Oh, was that a little quick? <laughs> it was a speech in blank verse, because a soliloquy is when you talk to yourself. Let me put it another way. How about you lot just giving me a little bit more help and support? You know, tidy up after yourselves, cook the odd meal. Because I mean it, I, I really am struggling. You're right. 
It was a soliloquy. I was talking to myself. Well, of course you wasn't. And we will try and do a lot more around the house, won't we, girls? Yeah, sure. Mum, I'm just going to Janice. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to work. Yeah. <laughs> I'm off to classes. See ya. When I said I needed help, I meant now! doing in the sink? What pan? Scrambled egg pan. It was your turn last night. Wait, excuse me, that's been there for two days. Rosie left it to steep. Oh, honestly, the pan of you. Finally. Who said you had to wait? Good God. Your first day at a new school and you're going to swan in late looking like Paris Hilton. <laughs> Paris Hilton's skinny. The poor boys won't be able to concentrate, Rosie. You'll have to scrape them off the floor. Not my problem. Jodie. So what did you do at weekend then? Oh, hi, well, Jess. Good Morgan. Well, I had loads of geography homework. <laughs> then me and Kirk played frying pan tennis. <laughs> oh, that's very nice. Thank you, Rosie. You could come again, yeah. She probably wants some at No, I don't. She's just been polite and grown up as befits a young lady of her age. Ooh. Well, it's true. Well, I'm not knocking it. And you seem happier now at your school after that first bad day, are you? Yeah, I'm loving it. Get that, will you, say? Why me? I made the tape. And I told you to. Go on. It's probably Mr. State with some romantic sonnet. <sighs> Ridiculous. So? You knocked them bullies into shape, have you? <laughs> well, Dad, it was one girl. She doesn't bother me anymore. Yeah? Is Rosie? You better come in. Someone else to see you. Oh, what are you doing here? Uh, come to what, Rose, to school? I'm still having my breakfast. Then I'll wait. It's okay, I can find my way, thanks. Look, what do you think I am? Blind or smart? Suit yourself. I'll see you later. Yeah, I might do. You can walk me if you like. Uh, see you later, Miss Webster. Mm, cheeky monkey. You're tucking down a peg or two. No, I haven't got time for boys. Oh, I'm glad to hear it. Tanya's party tomorrow is going to be so bliss. She's got this brother that's like this mega hot DJ. It's going to be like a proper club. Yeah, with proper adult supervision, I hope. You're so alright to take me out, you know. Thank you. Got me, Kevin, I'm out all day. Doing what? Christmas shopping, if you must know. Oh, come with you if you like. Hey, you are You're going to football with Ashley, aren't you? <laughs> well, I can give that a miss. Oh, I'm not having you kicking and screaming around the shops all day, Kevin. Anyway, I might buy you a present. Well, I can carry the bags. Well, oh, Dad, you're rubbish at shopping. Oh, if you're going to make a big deal of it. Forget it. I'll go to the footer. Sorry for breathing. <laughs> What's he like? I'll see you later.